Hey, hey, John Hope. So I just posted on my Instagram feed some photos from last week when I toured uh, Rockefeller Capital Management. And I wanted to break this down. Family offices. If you never heard this phrase before, I want you to turn, sit down with your kids, sit down with your loved ones, sit down with your parents, sit down with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife. Research family office on the internet. Use your phone for something other than entertainment. <laughs> Smile. And sports. Research family office and sit down and explain this to your family members or discuss it with your family members. So um, my family has a small family office, just uh, just so you know that I'm practicing what I'm preaching. But last week I went and toured Rockefeller Family Office, well, Rockefeller Capital Management. It's in Rockefeller Center. Um, <laughs> they have a whole floor. It's no accident that it's in Rockefeller Center. This is the legacy of John D. Rockefeller, who reigned uh, in the 18... 50s, 1870s as an industrialist and um, uh, built, was one of the richest men in the world and um, he uh, domiciled his wealth um, in uh, trusts and things like that made rules for how it could be spent and how his uh, uh, heirs could um, take advantage of it um, in later years now, this aside there's a joke amongst the wealthy um the first generation makes it, entrepreneurs. Second generation spends it. Third generation loses it, all right? Um, black folks, we don't even wait three generations. We, we make it and we tend to spend it because we're focusing on getting that bag, getting that money, making that dollar, getting that bucks because we know we're great hustlers, we're great entrepreneurs, we're great creators of value, but no one ever taught us, never gave us the memo, one of my books, no one gave us the memo on how free enterprise and capitalism actually work, works and wealth creation works. So we make You make uh, income during the day. You can even get rich during the day. But you build wealth while you're asleep. You build wealth through compounding stocks, bonds, investment, business, um, uh, annuities, uh, appreciation, uh, asset values. Uh, home ownership is the number one way to build wealth, as an example. So anyway, back to the story. So. Uh, he created the, 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 you know, Rockefeller Foundation and Rockefeller uh, Trust and things like that. And check this out. Seven generations later, there's 400 members of the Rockefeller family. They're all chilling because they have generational wealth and they've been forced to go through this system. And I know a couple of the Rockefellers also, and I do business while well, I have a relationship with Rockefeller Capital Management uh, as well. I'll, we hear some great things that they're doing with Operation Hope soon. And... Um, uh, several generations later, you have 400 members of the family and their their associated who are now benefiting from still what happened 150 years ago. Sometimes we can't benefit from something that happened a year and a half ago or five years ago because we we, we didn't create wealth, we just created income and income dissipates, it goes away, it's, which is why you can have a contract for with the NBA for $100 million and be broke five years later working at Starbucks because you didn't understand the difference, you didn't get your financial literacy you didn't understand how to make wealth and keep, and keep it, or make income and turn it into wealth. So I went toward, you can see the photos on my Instagram uh, feed at John Hope Bryant. Um, this is a video that, can, that is a companion to that because I really need us to now understand that we, that black America, Latino America, Asian America, yes, all the others, about Indian American, Indian, as a Native American Indian, poor whites, all that. But in particular, black America, we have got to get this memo. We should have a family office like that. We should have and by the way, so what they're doing now is they turned it into a business. Now they they represent other billionaire families. I can't mention the names, but you know them. They represent multi-millionaire families. They they one side of the house takes in the money, uh, uh, and one other side, and the other side of the house puts the money out, either in bill payment or investments management or business development and things like that. And it is uh it is a world that we don't know about, and they don't advertise. There's no. You can't go apply for a Rockefeller account. That's not the way it works. Uh, but it's not about Rockefeller. They're just an inspiration. And uh, you'll see some photos from rarely fo rare photos of what a family office uh, situation looks like. I couldn't take it. Couldn't take any photos of the confidential areas, but you'll get the the, the basic idea. But look it up, family office, um, and uh, it's 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 business. It's the business of the family. I mean, it is absolutely unbelievable. And what Rockefeller uh, Capital Management has done is unbelievable, and they and they want to do well and do good now, which I am touched by. This was their idea, not mine. They came to me, wanting to expand uh, what they do and to 
you know, as well to, to find a way to get back through Operation Hope, financial literacy for all, et cetera. So more of that's coming soon. Um, yeah, so I just want you to understand uh, that, that this exists. This is in Manhattan. Uh, this, you know, there are tons and tons of family offices, and, and there are other companies like Rockefeller, but this one is very special to me. I know them so I can vouch for them, and it's a way for me to give you an example uh, of what I'm talking about. This is not some antidotal thing. This is my life and, and people I, I, I'm associated with, and I'm telling you, you need to look it up. You need to do some research. And you need to figure out uh, how you can create, uh, when you, once you create some wealth, your own family office, your own trust, your own living wills, uh, your own family foundation. There are tax benefits here. Uh, you want to maximize your wealth by minimizing taxes. Pay the tax that you rightly so earn. Uh, oh, sorry, you're obligated to, but don't pay more than you, you should. Reduce your tax burden by doing things that give back to society. It's a good offset. And... Um, yeah, leave something for your generation so we can break this cycle to make it, spend it, and lose it. Love and light. Let me know what you think about this video. Go to Opera Show, get a Hope Financial Coach today. All our services are free. Love and light. John Hope.